Hello, my name is Heather Townsend I am, and I am the Chief Coach at the Efficiency Coach. In today's video, I'm going to be talking about the four elements needed for you to implement a successful social media strategy. In this video, I'm going to be covering what I call my four C's model and giving you ideas and techniques and pointers to be able to implement it for your business. So let's start. What is this four C's model? And very simply, the four C's stand for content, conversations, connections, and call to action. So let's look at the content bit first. I think it's important to remember that social media is a pull marketing method. It is a opt-in. Therefore, it's not about selling, but you have to provide valuable content that your target market wants to read. So firstly, think about your target market and your advocates. Who are they? Where do they want to, you know, what do they actually want to read? What's of value to them? Now, the content you provide doesn't actually have to be all your own stuff. Um, set up a feed reader, such as um, Google Feed Reader, and find some blogs, some sites where there's content that is of interest to you and your target market and start regularly sharing it through maybe your LinkedIn status updates, share it maybe through Twitter, use it to prompt an idea about what to write in your blogs. So we've now looked at content. The next thing to look at is to look at connections. Because social media is actually just a collection of user generated content. The way to get people to read it, the way to get people to see it is through connections. It's about building that online network of people that want to see it. This means that you've got to have some presence on a social networking site. This is where you get communities of like-minded individuals coming together and you need to generate connections into that. So where do you target market hang out? Who do you need to be connecting with? Who needs to be in that network that will get your material and you in front of the people that matter to you? Many sites such as LinkedIn, Facebook, Twitter, when you when you start up a profile and start up with them, will actually suggest to people that are already in your address book or they think you should follow. Use, use the guidelines to get you started. But in those early days, make sure that you've got not just your marketing person in your business, but a few others, at least a few others, getting started and, and, and starting online networking and spreading the word about your business. The third thing is about conversations. Remember I said that social media is an opt-in, it's a pull marketing, which means you've got to pull people into your sales and marketing funnel. And you do this by inviting conversations. So don't just broadcast, because that's an old marketing method. People don't want to be interrupted in the day. They want to choose to read what you're putting out. Remember, it's about valuable content. So do prompt conversations, do get involved in conversations. Somebody on Twitter says something, ask them a question about it. Forward it on to your followers. When you're writing a blog post, only write about 80% of the content you could put there and ask people what have they missed, what should be added in. It's really important that you give people a chance to have their say because it is about the conversations. Remember, the more connections, the more people working actively to help build connections for your business, the more conversations that you can start. And then finally, what you need is a call to action. Remember, it's all very well getting lots of people on your website. It's all very well getting lots of people to view your YouTube video. But if you don't get something to happen as a result that will develop your business, then you're wasting your time. So what is your call to action? So if you're wanting to get people onto your website, how are you converting them into people onto your mailing list? How are you inviting them to have a consultation with you? How are you inviting them to have a quote made for them? You know, make sure that there is a clear signpost to the next step in the sales and marketing process for people that come onto your website as a result of reading your articles or something that you've said on social media. So to summarize, there are four key elements to a social media strategy, content, stuff that your target market would enjoy reading. And we're not talking about sales material here. We're talking about sharing interesting content and knowledge. Secondly, connections, building that network of people that go in and regularly go and read that content. 
Thirdly, it's about conversations, it's about prompting a conversation. It's making sure that your business is at the heart of that conversation. And then fourthly, it's about a call to action. So what are they going to do as a result of being on your website or reading your article? My name is Heather Townsend and I'm the Chief Coach at The Efficiency Coach as well as the writer of the Financial Times Guide to Business Networking. Mm -hmm.